These really are swans. Oh my God, it's almost like I planned it. Look, there are swans on my mug. I'm really on brand today. Hi. Hi, I'm Kelly Strickland. I'm the executive and artistic director of the Widener Center for the Performing Arts. And I'm both the white and the black swan. And welcome to another episode of What's, What's the, the Widener, Widener T? Tea? Hashtag WWT. What are we talking about today? Swans. Swans. <laughs> What's the study of birds? I feel like I want to say Paris. I mean, it's a city of lights. Wait, what? City of birds? Oh, no, I said talking. the study of birds. Oh, ornithology. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you think there is a city of birds? Ooh. No actual birds appear in this production of Swan Lake. No. We have the Russian Ballet Theater coming yeah. to dance Swan Lake. Which, as far as ballet goes, it's, it's the ballet. For sure. I mean, you don't know, have, have to know anything about ballet to know the name Swan Lake. Yeah. Google ballet, I, the, I guarantee the first thing that's going to come up is an image of someone Swan dancing Lake. Someone Swan, dancing Lake. Lake. Swan yeah. Lake. Well, and that's for a variety of reasons, isn't it? I mean, one is I think the choreography itself is quite famous and beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then also the uh, music composed yeah. by Tchaikovsky, yeah. quite famous. Dun, 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 dun. I'm actually really into ballet. I have one more thing to say about, though, why Swan Lake is important. Okay, go ahead. I think that one of the reasons that Swan Lake um, kind of holds the place that it does, in addition to um, excellent choreography, excellent music, it's also because the story yeah. ballet, mm -hmm. um, this, this particular story, uh, managed to achieve a level of dramatic tension mm. that perhaps not all story ballets achieve. But I think in Squan Lake, there's there's real dramatic tension in the white and black it's swan a, relationship. Yes. It's a real tragedy. Yeah. I think it is a good story, actually, for Halloween. I think it's about magic and kind of evil forces. That would make sense, since it was the source material for that creepy movie. <laughs> Did you ever see it? I never saw it. We're talking about... Black Swan. Yes, starring... Yeah. My doppelganger. Your doppelganger? <laughs> All of my doppelgangers are in that movie. Oh. Natalie Portman, Mila Kunis, Winona Ryder. Mila Kunis is in it as well, huh? She plays the Black Swan. Oh. Huh. One more thing that we should talk about with Swan Lake. What's that? Costumes. Yeah, the, this particular production has a lot of like revamping with the visuals. Uh -huh. So there's all these costumes that are handmade, the handmade sets. Um, it's visually beautiful. Visually beautiful. Yes. And, you know, and a bunch of like Russian skinny dancers. You know, that'll be fun to watch. <laughs> I, I wish I. Okay, so look, dancing was never in my wheelhouse. When my dance teacher in college told everyone in the class to watch me. Did I tell you this? No. We were doing uh, a Bob Fosse routine. Do, do. Small... Fosse, 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 Fosse. <laughs> yeah. Massa Graham, Massa Graham, Massa Graham. Or Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. Or Twyla, Twyla. Thank you for that birdcage we intermission. Just keep it all inside. Just <laughs> keep it all inside. <laughs> doing this Bob Fosse routine. And our, um, the, our dance instructor, uh, it was called Dance for Musical Theater. That was the name of the class, right? So it's like, you know, anyway, she stops us. And she goes, everyone, everyone. Hey, Kelly, can you take those 16 again? Everybody watch Kelly. And then I did it, and she said, and I want everyone to know, if you can't dance, that's how you act your way through it. <laughs> I love how in her mind that was a real big compliment. You're like, she's committing, she's terrible. But, oh, she's here. She's not at home. She came to class today. Yes, I mean, just sell it. <laughs> That's the message for today. Just Boys sell and girls, it. just sell it. <laughs> and I think the Russian Ballet Theater will sell it when they're here. I think they will. I think they also will bring with them the technical acumen and talent. <laughs> right. Oh, Swan Lake is Swan on Lake here. Friday, the 25th of October. October 25th. At, this, at uh, 7.30 p.m.? Yes. 
So tickets are available now. Uh huh. Go get them. They're going fast though. We're actually selling. They're selling really rapidly. We're selling a lot of tickets every day. Yes. So do. Don't wait. Go get them. <laughs> so uh, this has been another episode of What's the Widener What's Tea? What's the Widener Tea? Hashtag WWT. WWT. You should go ahead and smash that subscribe button. So my brother um, this past weekend said he binge watched all of them. <laughs> the like all 19 episodes. <laughs> And his takeaway was that you're really funny and, and? I'm just here. No. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Corey.